Most moms in business know what they would like to accomplish. Yet sometimes you get stuck because you don't know how to effectively plan for your goals and develop the resilience to keep going when things get tough. Today's episode will share about a method that will help you to ditch procrastination and hit that goal that you have planned for this year. Let's dive in. Hi there, welcome to episode 19. My name is Jamima Davis, and I help ambitious moms get access to tools and resources they need so that they can create a life of lasting impact through their purpose and passion. If you're new to this channel, get subscribed and click on the bell so that you can be notified every time that I release a brand new episode weekly and a free resource that I know that you will absolutely love. Since in today's episode, we're talking about how to set goals, you may be looking for ways to increase your income so that you can achieve them. So I recommend that you download my Mompreneur Home Business Idea Guide, which will provide five ways that you can earn additional income from home without taking too much time away from your kids. If you're interested in picking this up, it's ready for you right now on the blog at jaminadavis.com forward slash 19. If you are on YouTube, I'll leave the link somewhere in the description of this video for you to download. If you are already on the blog, you can go ahead and hit that big green button that you see below this video and there it will lead you to be able to download this freebie that I know that you will absolutely love. Having a positive attitude when you come up against a challenge is helpful when setting goals because that is the attitude required in order to overcome those challenges. Listen to the following technique to goal setting, which will guide you through an exploration on how to handle obstacles and barriers, which can make a difference as to whether or not you hit your goal this year. Then I'll come back to close us out. Why do we set goals anyhow, right? <laughs> and even as I name some of the ones that I'm going to name, your goal, right? The reason why we set goals for you may be different from someone else. So why do we set goals? Goals help trigger new behaviors. Goals help to guide, motivate, and provide focus to us. They help you sustain momentum in life. They help align your focus and promote a sense of self-mastery. They can improve mental health. Oh, yes, they can. Yes, they can. Okay? When you have goals, something happens in your heart. Your heart sometimes starts beating a little faster when you think about that goal, right? And you know that wherever, whatever is in your heart, right? So th there also is your treasure. And so sometimes you have to, to, to nurture those dreams in your heart. You'd have to place some goals in that heart to test, right? What your level of passion is. What does your heart beat for? What does it beat for? One of my passions is to talk to other mothers about the fact that despite the fact that we have so many responsibilities and things to juggle, that we are still capable of dreaming. Look, the fact that you gave birth or what, however it is that you ended up having a child, whether it's through adoption or through natural ways, right? You gave birth to something phenomenal. That means that there is potential for you to give birth to dreams and to goals as well. So what does your heart beat for today? Is it beating? Is it beating? Do you feel butterflies about some other things, right? Projects or, or, or passions that, that, that make you come alive when you stand up and talk about them, right? What are you hiding in your heart right now? What issues spring from it? Right? And so we got to check our heart health sometimes to see, is it still beating? Put some of those goals in there. Goals really can improve your mental health by helping you to regulate what your heart is feeling. Right? Goals also give you long-term vision. Number six, long-term vision and short-term motivation. They help you focus your acquisition of knowledge. Ooh, I love that. I'm a learner. So I get tickled when I learn new things. I'm like, ooh, yeah, I love that, okay? 
Number eight, goals help you to organize your time and your resources so that you can make the most of your life. Why do we set goals, right? So this is a long list of different reasons why we set goals, all right? So let's talk a little bit further about goal setting. So we just talked about why we set goals. Next, let's discuss how to take actionable steps towards your goals. All right, so I am about to introduce a system to you tonight, all right? And I love systems. I love systems. I not only love systems, I love systems that actually help to support your habits. Oh my God, yes. Listen, just the other day, we went through a 21-day challenge with some ladies in our community, and we really got clarity on how we were going to choose to wake up every single morning. And it was so rewarding to listen to some of the feedback that I know is going to continue to grow because we planted the seed then, and now these women have the option, the choice to now make it a goal to make their mornings forever changed. That is a choice, all right, for them to maintain it. And so next, I want to discuss with you a technique called WOOP, W-O-O-P, right? And WOOP is a technique. It's a highly efficient technique for setting both personal and business goals. And it is really a modern technique because you may not have heard about it based on solid science. I would highly recommend that you do a little bit more research about this technique because sometimes you just need some things in your pocket to move you into action, okay? And I think that's what systems do. Systems do that. They help you to regulate your environment so that you can kick into action. And so don't fret. We're going to talk about that goal that you may be thinking about now that you want to do. I'm even going to share a few possible goals that you might want to focus on. But if you came into this room ready, you know which goal you're going to be focused on. That's even better. Write it down on your pad right now or on your phone, or on your computer, whatever it is that you got there to write on, okay? Listen, learners write things down, okay? Let's put pen to paper use your computer, whatever it is that you can in order to elevate your mind today, in order to gain some new skills, in order to acquire some new knowledge that you can apply to your day starting tonight in order to make some differences in your future. All right, let's do it together. I'm here right alongside you, okay? And so WHOOP is a concept where you can apply it both to your personal and business goal setting. So what is WHOOP anyway? And who established this thing, all right? So the WHOOP technique was inspired by Gabrielle Ottingen. She is the author of Rethinking Positive Thinking. She is a powerful woman. She is in the field of psychology, and uh, she and several other psychologists from the University of New York decided that they were going to do a, an experiment in order to find out the, the practice of optimism and how it helps us. And so Gabrielle believes, or Dr. Ottingen, I should say, believes that optimism is not enough to move us into action, basically. And I agree with her. Look, if we had willpower, we would be further along on many of our goals these days. If willpower was enough to kick us into action, we would be much further in many of the goals that we have. But willpower is never enough. It requires for us to have systems. It requires for us to have goals. It requires for us to have some of the other things that I'm going to bring to you today in order for you to move into action and finish that goal, all right? So do a little bit of research. Check her out, right? Dr. Gabrielle Ottingen wrote this book, Rethinking Positive Thinking, and she says that if you use the WHOOP technique, it will kick you into action to be able to accomplish what you need to accomplish. 
And so tonight, not only am I introducing you to the wolf cup technique, but we're actually going to practice it on a specific task, just so we can break it down to the most basic and you will walk away here understanding exactly how to apply it to your goal, okay? That is exciting. And so WHOOP is an acronym for WISH, Outcome, Obstacle, and Plan, all right? And it's utilized with the unique mental contrasting technique, meaning that it's reshaping your mind. It's reshaping what you believe. It's reshaping how you see things. It's reshaping your perspective about how you're going to move into that goal so that you can accomplish it, right? So the WHOOP concept or the study that they did asked participants to contrast a wish with an inner obstacle and then develop an if this then that plan okay and don't worry we're gonna break it down so that you can practically tell it to me by the end of our time today okay so the work concept tells us that if we have a goal if we have a wish then we can think about what the outcome will be and then we have to develop what obstacles will keep us from getting to that plan, right? That was simpler explained, right? So let's 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 just kind of take this whoop thing apart a little bit, all right? So how do you move into action mode when it comes to your goals? Think about you and the goal that you have been wanting to get done for the past year, two years, three years, five years, ten years, but you haven't been able to do it okay and so wish is something you want to accomplish for real one that is exciting challenging and realistic another word for wish y'all is goal another word for wish is goal all right outcome imagine the best outcome of your goal and recognize how it would make you feel visualize yourself there already before you get there that's how you win the game visualize yourself there already before you get there okay what's the best outcome who are you going to be what's the best self that you're gonna be right what does that look like who does that person look like Define it even, be bold, define it. When you get to that goal, that's what and who I'm going to be, all right? That's daring. The next letter is O, obstacle. Imagine the personal obstacles that prevent you from accomplishing that goal. What are some of the things that's gonna get in your way to do that goal? What are some of the things that are gonna be challenges that are, that are gonna come your way to stop you from accomplishing that goal. Then you're gonna write them down. So this is the exercise. What are some of the obstacles that you are going to, that are gonna come your way, that you're gonna pre-pick because you're gonna be like, mm -hmm, I know you were coming, I'm prepared for you, right? I'm prepared for you with a plan, right? So then the plan is gonna be, the plan you're gonna make is gonna say, if, then, right, it's, it's, it, you're going to make an if then plan to name an action you could do if an obstacle appears. And we're going to break this down in simple terms in 30 seconds flat. So what plan will you establish to hit your next goal? Many people find enough motivation to get started on goals just by going through the process of goal setting. Yet having a plan when things get complicated is so necessary to help yourself stay on track. And here's a big mistake that many make. They do not take the time to anticipate what roadblocks may be ahead and to have solutions for tough times that are sometimes inevitable. As you could tell, the WHOOP method will help you in several ways. In addition, it will help you to assess if your goals are realistic and if they are worth your time. And remember, if you are looking for ways to increase your income so that you can achieve your goals, then be sure to grab my Mompreneur Home Business Idea Guide. There you'll find five ways to make money from home without taking too much time away from your kids. 
You can download this on the blog at jamimadavis.com forward slash 19. If you are on YouTube, I'll leave the link somewhere in the description of this video so that you can go ahead and grab it there. If you're already on the blog, be sure to click on the big green button that you see there below this video and the freebie will be all yours. And I know that you'll absolutely love it. In addition, be sure to review the show notes area wherever you may be watching this video from. As I always leave a whole bunch of additional resources and trainings just for you. So be sure to check them out. Did this episode help you? If it did, then be sure to share it out with your friends. Share it out with a few moms that you know may love it just as much as you did. Give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and remember to leave a comment. I love hellos. And I will see you on the next episode of Jamima Davis TV.